Thousands of market basket workers rallying support for their former boss while the market basket board weighs the chain's future and whether to accept a buyout from the very CEO they fired. This battle has been heating up all week. Thanks for joining us tonight. I'm Lisa Hughes in for Paula. And I'm Jonathan Elias. A family feud is what led to the firing of Arthur T. DeMoulis and store employees absolutely revolted. Store shelves are emptying, leaving customers with no choice but to shop somewhere else. Now we do have live WBZ team coverage on this developing story for you. Bill Shields is at a store in Tewksbury. But let's start it off with Jim Smith because he's live in Boston. That's where Market Basket board members met today. Jim, did they come out with any decision? Not that we know of, not just yet at least, Jonathan, but stay tuned, as they say. If these protesting workers were trying to get the attention of company bigwigs, they've succeeded in a big way. This ongoing battle was discussed at the highest levels here at the PRU, including the offer by Arthur T. DeMoulis to buy the company. This is about as far as our cameras got today here at the Prudential Center. But somewhere inside this complex, the future of the market basket battle was being decided. At a board meeting today, company officials said they would consider the offer of Arthur T. DeMoulis to buy a controlling stake of the company. In a statement, the board said it will evaluate and seriously consider this proposal along with any other offers previously received. But at the same time, the board seemed to indicate Arthur T. DeMoulis would not be reinstated, reaffirming its selection of co-CEOs Felicia Thornton and James Gooch to manage the company. Those are the two executives who replaced Arthur T. DeMoulis when he was ousted. The board also sharply criticized protesting market basket workers calling their behavior negative, saying it is now clear that it is in the best interests of all members of the market basket community for normal business operations to resume immediately. Earlier today, two market basket store managers from Chelsea showed up to send a message to the board of directors. Just for him to see a glimpse of us and that he knows that we have IDT's back. It affects the employees, first of all. It affects the customers. As employee, I'm a customer too. And there is no market basket. All the prices in the surrounding areas will go up. So after several hours of meetings today here at the Prudential Center, it's safe to say nobody's quite sure what will happen next. So the standoff continues live in downtown Boston. Jim Smith, WBZ News. Lisa, back to you. All right, Jim, thank you. 